how did you get started in using social media? Were you an early adopter or? Well, I would like to tell you that I was on Facebook in college, but that was a little after my time. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> but no, actually I started here at WZZM. I had heard of that at my other station and a different market, but it kind of all came to a forefront and you know came to be something that we needed to include in our business plan a few years back. And so I was working at WZZM at the time and it was just a great transition for me. Okay. The, uh, which channel did you start with? I think I started with Facebook, but Facebook and Twitter pretty much the same time, two totally different animals. Oh yeah, very different, yeah. Do you have a, a favorite um, dashboard that you use for managing your social media or any tools or apps that you really like to use or? Well, actually, I don't use any. I know George will tell you a little bit about his tweet deck experience, but no, I don't because I have so many that I juggle that I think it's too easy to make those mistakes. And we often report on those in the news. You'll remember the Chrysler <laughs> yeah. incident. So I just want to keep, keep it simple for myself. So it's a few extra logins. It's a few extra screens open on my computer, but that works best for me. That's great. Yeah. Um, is, are there any trends that you see maybe within the news industry relative to social media or just in, in what you're doing with social media? Do you see any trends that? Well, I would right? definitely say the biggest trend is that our viewers are coming to us online. We have gone you know, online on the social networks to reach our viewers who are there, and we're just continuing to see an explosion of growth there. So not only are people becoming our fans on Facebook, but they're joining in those conversations. They're sharing those photos with us. They're talking about the breaking news in their neighborhoods. So it's just really a level of participation that's just exploded for us. And really, it's, it's a great opportunity for you to actually engage with your viewers. Absolutely. In that conversational aspect of social media. And it's real time. We've never had anything like that in television and in news. Because it's so, so often people, maybe they'll pick up the phone and give us a news tip. But they're so much more likely to just send us a Facebook message or a little email. Good, good. So any words of wisdom, any, anything that you've learned along the way that maybe a tip or a trick or, or advice you'd want to pass along? Well, whenever I talk about social media, I always encourage people to figure out what are the privacy settings on whatever social network they are, learn about them, and make sure that they set them appropriate for them. Because so many people just have too much information that's open to the masses, and you really need to check those privacy settings and right. set them. You have to understand that it is a social network it's, you know, not a private space. It's a very public platform. Absolutely. So, yeah. And you don't want to get in any trouble there. So right. just do that. Good. Well, thank you for your time. It's really been fun. Talking. No problem. Thank you so much for stopping All by. Right. Take care.